Good afternoon. Welcome to Elisa Maria Designs. I'm giving you a little clip of my uh, music that I have on today. It's called New York City Lounge and I'm loving it because there are um, little videos of New York City or at least New York City the way that I remember it. There's not much going on in New York City these days that look as pleasant as that video. So, <laughs> uh, But I do miss New York City and I miss so much about it. Anyway, I thought today was going to be an update on Rico and until my front door, I got a delivery from somewhere that I've never ordered before and that is AliExpress. I hear a lot of um, diamond painters talk about AliExpress and so I thought, why not? Let's, let's give it a go. Everything is about content and at least expanding your knowledge of things. So I opened up the packages because I wanted to get, I was trying to get an idea of what the um, cost was that I bought everything for. And I'll tell you, nothing was over $5. So let's take a look here. Let me throw my address around. I'm noted. <laughs> He's putting my address out there. So this is AliExpress. I ordered, they said delivery should come like for February 14th, 15th. Uh, I guess they're just covering their bases. It came rather quickly, maybe about a week. Come on, are we stuck to the inside? We are. There we go. Oh, let's start with the pen. I've always seen these pens, and I think they're rather cute. I think they were like $2.50. Like I said, nothing was over $5. Some things weren't even a dollar, and free shipping. Let's get this little pen out of here. Very cute. And I do order these a lot. Um, just extra placers. I don't know. I have a thing with placers. Or at least placers in different colors and stuff. Oh, so this looks like it's metal. It's actually a plastic. Very pretty. A little rose tip. I, I, I just like this design. It, it's nice. I love baguettes. So that's where I went with that. And I guess it's... I guess it's not... Am I blind? I guess it's not, it's not two-sided, but what's actually weird, it looks like there's a little divot in here where maybe you can pick. Could that be? I don't know. Let me see here. I, I, I actually have Rico out because, um, let me try and no, that, I don't, would you put what? Is there a divot? I'm, I'm just blind. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. So cute little cap. You can't even, will it stay on there? Um, no, <laughs> that's kind of weird. Or maybe it will. Maybe I just have it on there too tight. Okay. Anyway, so it came with these placers in a rose gold. There, and I like these little extra O bands that they give you. Uh, it came with a nine. I would believe that that's skinny. Do I have my pen out? Oh, I don't think my pen has my. Yeah, I, I don't know where I got this from. So, yeah, it's pretty skinny. I would say it's skinny. Let me not knock over. I have Rico set up ready to go, but so this is a nine and the metal uh, aligner. This is a six placer, um, a cone. It's actually rather wide in there. Um, I like these little bent placers too. Sometimes I could, it makes me see where, I can, where I'm going. And this looks like a three. It's a three. And it, that is skinny. That's not fat at all. Um, so I get these. And I believe that this was like $2.74. Okay. Well, let's put this away. Let me get this camera, camera angle a little bit more. Oh, I should have at least tried to put them on there, right? Duh. 
<laughs> Let's do the nine. Snaps in really easy with a little twist. I don't know, it might need to be tightened a little bit, maybe a little washi tape around there. But there's a second bow band, but I, that will just drive me nuts if it's gonna, you know, keep going like that. Very pretty, I like it. Um, and maybe I will use it when I'm doing Rico. Okay, off to the side you go. Then I ordered this wax. This I know was something like, again, 75 cents. Just a bunch of wax. Where do you open it? Holy cow, I should get my scissors out. Did I keep my scissors out? You didn't see that. <laughs> oh, here's my scissors. Okay. And how much is in here, does it say? Choice. No, it doesn't. There's a lot. And it's different colors. Boom, throw it on the floor. So it's just plates of wax, different colors, purple. I think I got, I have in my mind those little shorts where you see people diamond painting, purple, blue, yellow, and pink wax. Um, I go through wax a lot. I know I go on and on about the wax that I love from um, Dreamer Design, but I don't know. I just thought it'd be fun to try. 75 cents. Oh, I have another set of of I told you I buy these all the time I, I believe that these were like a dollar and change I mean it really listen it the stuff is cheap I didn't buy anything over five dollars that's that's what I should name this video I probably will uh, but I think these were different sizes and they were gold again the little ergonomically correct placer so that you can see where you're going uh, this is a 10 this is a 7 so these are like the odd numbers Another aligner, another just cone shape, and a four. So what I didn't have in the rose gold, I have in this set. Very sweet. So odd and even. Okay. And done with you and off to the side. Anything in here? Nope. Get rid of it. Okay. Ah. This is something I have been waiting for, and I think I'm going to keep this out. This is the ruler that you use to place on your diamond, directly on your diamond painting, so that you can diamond paint. Uh, nice and neatly, one by one. And it's a small enough size. I could get into this for a while, just putting them on one by one. Absolutely, why not? Sometimes I like multi-placing, sometimes I don't. Sometimes it makes me a little anxious, trying to make sure that they're all lined up on the placer and you know, pushing them around. Because you really shouldn't push your diamonds you know, when you place your diamonds with your aligner. And if one is out of line, um, you really shouldn't push it. The instructions are to Pick it off with your tweezer, which I don't do. I actually have a nail clipper that I use. I have a cuticle clipper that I use to take my diamonds off a painting. I only use these for my diamonds. And I use the nail clipper to um, pull up any glue or, you know, a washi tape. I use these jaws to pull the diamonds off because that's the way I would do it on a fingernail when I'm doing nail art I would you know take a client's uh, rhinestones or whatever off very easily boop and I find it the same way with a diamond painting so you shouldn't push your drills around because you notice they move back because the glue is like a rubber band it's just going to slide back so I am very interested in trying this very interested I thought it was bigger than that and this again under a dollar okay what is in here oh this I know for sure, I paid like two fifty four. This is three trays three trays, and I, I like this spout open on the side. 
and then one big tray and this also has a spout so you can use this as a tray to put your which I probably will do because I have a cat now but let's see here pop you open again go and then when you're done with your diamonds you would just they pour right back in through that little spout I mean yes it's plastic it's not causing any static I'll still put my washi tape on the ends there are three pink green blue this was a choice I made for these colors and one big big tray I like the big tray you know if you have a lot of color blocking that's great and what's next so this is something that I need your help with um, I really don't order you know my first diamond painting and how I got into diamond painting was I was introduced to Timu by my son and he was telling me you know you should check this place out I've gotten a few things electronics so it's kind of like a five below to me. I wasn't really interested. But, of course, I always go over to the arts and crafts section. And I saw this something that looked like paint by number or cross stitch. What was it? It was these diamonds that you, it's a glue. And you. I was like, listen, it's so cheap. Let me get it. My first diamond painting was a pair of wings. And I think I bought a couple of them. And the, and the second one was... An image of Marilyn Monroe, which I love. So I am on the site. I'm on the AliExpress. Now let me just tell you, each one of these 30 by 40 centimeter canvases was wrapped around this uh, roller. That's how it was shipped. And I wanted to take them out and let them lay flat so that I'd be able to present them to you. Now, I will tell you, I've looked up every one of these images of these paintings to try and find where they copied. Are they AI? The only thing I can find is each one of these images is somewhere on Etsy, somewhere on Amazon, um, again on AliExpress. I didn't see them on Timu. So, I don't know. I don't know, and that's where I need your help. You say, oh, I know that painting. That is an artist's painting. Okay, so they put, they sent five paintings. Oh, again, my, my address. Oh, boy. They sent five paintings in here, and I'm just going to hide, I'm going to hide my address. I'm going to put a sticker on top of that when I go to edit. They sent five paintings. They sent four of the, you know, usual suspects here, four trays with a piece of wax, one big placer, and a diamond painting pen. The only thing that was different were these placers. They're very rubbery. I put one on a pen. Did I put one on a pen? Oh, I had, I had a harder time getting it off, so I must have gotten it off. It's the only thing that was different. So it's your your, your usual suspects, you know. Now this tray is kind of crappy. That's a crappy tray. <laughs> That's a crappy tray. Who's gonna work with that? Throw it in the trash. Probably throw it all in the trash, actually. Um, and there's like this little textured, rubberized, no big deal. I mean, really. And a fat. There's a lot of plastic edges that are hanging off. You'd have to do some trim work there for sure if you were going to use this. I don't even know why I'm bothering, but I'm just showing you that there's some overhang plastic there. It's still not right. Probably just gonna throw it all in the trash. I'll keep the placer because sometimes I use these placers. I use them for multiple things, but sometimes I put them on my own pens if they fit. Because I do a lot of writing. I don't want that. And I'm probably not gonna use the rest. Okay. Back in the bag. So what I got here are three, four, five. I have five sets of 
the kind of like Maker Mark um, drills. They're, they're those flat button-like drills, and I don't know what I'm seeing here, so I'm going to open this up. So put your fingers in your ears if you don't like these crinkly things. Um, okay. So what do we have here? We have a pull sheet. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen colors. Big piece of paper. Pattern round canvas, thirty by forty, and the number, and this is the diamond painting. The symbols are here, very, very small print, an X, an A, something that looks like a V with a plus sign underneath, an equal sign, an L, an E, a round, it looks like a, I always call it a, it's not a percent sign, I don't know, round with two dots, an arrow, I don't know what that is, that's supposed to be a white heart, an N, a shamrock, an E on its side, an arrow pointing up, an X, this looks like a spider, a W, and a square circle. Now I will tell you, these were under $5 each painting. We have here. I don't know the difference between resin and plastic. I'm looking to see if any of them really look junky. I thought I did see on the later ones kind of like junky drills, just crappy drills just kind of looking up at me. Very small packages and multiple of the same color. Like they could have put this all in one package. I'm glad I got that ruler because these are the these are the type of drills that just drive me nuts. And you could have gotten them in you could have got this painting in round or square. So I don't know. Should I check and see that all the color? Oh, I don't. I don't know which one. Oh, I opened up this one. Okay. So and they tell you quantity. You know, three packs, two packs, five packs. So this is the DMC color code. I don't know, quantity 505, pack three, quantity 505. That's confusing. So I guess if this is the symbol, this is the color, how many packs, and I don't know what this quantity is. Oh, maybe it's the amount of drills. Oh, that would make sense. Okay. So 597 has five, that's correct. Let's do this. I'm only going to do this one. 597 has five. That is correct. 519 has five. That is correct. 712 has four. Well, that's not correct. So let's just wait and see. 3765, there's four here. That is correct. Um, 939, two, that is correct. One, two, three, four, five of 747, that's correct. 721, two, that's correct. Here is the other 712, so five now, that is correct. Three eight six five five three eight six oh two three eight one seven three three seven seven eight three so far so good nine hundred Two, that's right. And eight oh three has three. 
and 754 has three. Four five three has three. Five oh two has three. They are correct. And one more. Three seven six zero has four. Okay. So all the colors are here. The quantities are correct. Let's get rid of that. The one thing I will say is, if you want to just do a color, I'm not going to kit these up. I would just cut this little piece off. I have so many baggies, and I would just use this color, use this bag, fine. Okay, we'll see how it works. All right, again, can't find this painting anywhere. To see, is this a ripoff? Is this a someone's work? So, here are my paintings that I got. Now, I will say, let's, let's use her. Round canvas, 30 by 40, and it came covered in a sheet, not in the cellophane. What, what do you call it? It came covered in release paper. Now, I will say that I went to pull it up from the top because I wanted to see the photo, and I the, the glue came along with it. So I don't think that this is a poured glue. I think that this is like... Is it double-sided glue, maybe? Because this piece did come up on one of the paintings. So I'm going to peel her off so you guys can get a look at her. It is very sticky. There's about a half an inch, an inch of overpour on one side, not on this side. That's interesting. Why wouldn't they make the overpour on that side and not along the, <laughs> the key code? But okay. All right, um, it looks very clear. I can see there are, they are circled in a light, in a light circle, not like a black circle so that if you don't hit the target, you're not gonna see that round circle. What I want is this ruler. So how you would use this would be to place it like that and you would place your diamonds in to do that now okay so now I have this release paper what are you doing here mm, out so now if I was only going to open these as I needed them like just say this color three seven six zero I would have to do Three seven six zero is what? Something that looks like a. Is that what it looks like on the can? On the... No, no three. Yeah, it's it's the right symbol. Three seven six zero. It looks like a rectangle cut in half. So I would only do that and then move on and maybe put this in another section until I got done every one that was in this little package. Um, I don't know how I feel about this release paper. I like looking at my image, but it is kind of nice that you would just cut a section and work that section. I might just cut a section that only goes up to this because I intend to use this because these flat button top uh, Drills drive me insane. So that's the story there, kids. So that's just one painting that I received. Let's take this off, or maybe I'll leave it on. Let me leave it on. It does a good job at aligning right over the circles. I could see, you know, is there a lot of color blocking in this? No, there really isn't. Maybe just along her face few spots but you know it was a baby stack it was something that was small enough that I thought there's not a lot to it this was not my first choice to do okay anyway 
put the release paper back down. They did, even though they, they came all wrapped around, they did um, smooth out very quickly. And another thing, the back of the canvas is nice. There's no lines, there's no bubbles or bumps like I've gotten when I ordered from Crafties and it came right from China. It didn't even go to them and then they sent it out, it came right from China. So there, there really was no problem with this. The only problem I'm having is the artwork. Is it AI? I don't know. Now, this particular one, you can't do it that way or, or, the, or the glue will come up. I have a rip here, I should put some tape there. Put some washi tape there, being that I have it out. That's how I closed all my baggies from Rico when I was kidding up and if I had extra. Okay, so this one. This particular, or did I put the washi tape on the glue too? No, it's just not, it's not the band-aid that I wanted. Let's go this way. Oh, this, this side is waxy, so the washi tape is not working. Oh, uh, 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 so we something, something, ain't it kids? Okay, so let's do this and then I'll do this. I really need my tweezer. So here she is. Can you see her? Her I find. Her I find in all different companies, in all different places, on Amazon, on another, a few other marketplaces, on, uh, in the Chinese marketplace. This will ship directly from China. It will ship on Amazon. I took a few pictures. It shows up on AliExpress. It shows up as Needlepoint. It shows up as paint by number it shows up as diamond painting it shows up I cannot find an artist and I've even put her picture and did like artist by or AI question um, it's she's called cartoon girl but there's no other information so if you have information let me know this was the one that I I was just going to get one and I was going to get her because I like the rabbit face and I like her shirt with the all the celestial shirt that she has on and the flowers. I love the color palette. It's very soft. Again, this one has a lot of color blocking. This one would probably work up really quickly. Ton of color blocking here on this one and not as many colors. Uh, two, four, the glue goes all the way over. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 colors. It didn't seem like it was that many. Um, again, what do you think of the symbols? Like this one might be easy just to say, oh, I'm gonna do all the X's. This is the way I first start color painting, uh, color painting, diamond painting. I didn't know what I was doing. I had never seen a diamond painting before. And what I did was, it, and, and my and my first diamond painting was a little bit bigger than this, maybe the next step up, was I took the cellophane off, the, cell, the plastic sheet, and then I went and looked for all the E's, <laughs> and all the V's, and then all the hearts, and then all the A's. That's how I was diamond, that's how I was diamond painting. And then I decided, let me, it wasn't until I, started to really benefit from diamond painting in a way that made me start to come out of the grief that I was under by losing my dad, by getting divorced, losing my companion for 18 years, my little baby honor, uh, my Yorkie. Um, and, and then I started to just come out of this funk and I started to, uh, I, I, you know, I, I had my YouTube for 11 years and I never made a video, but I made a video when I started to realize that this was helping me and it was lifting my depression. And um, I got back into my artwork 
most people use art as therapy, but when I am in a funk, I can't even think about creating something that I'm working on. And then I learned all about, you know, licensing and other diamond painting. I mean, I mean, you could just imagine my surprise that I found something like this on Timu and then really, you know, began looking at, um, and I guess my video stopped recording because my Johnny called me. So the next painting that I picked up, because they were all so beautiful. Oh, this one is taped down. I think it's taped down. I think this was the one that I realized why they taped it down was because the double-sided glue was probably lifting. I've never experienced double-sided glue. Very pretty face. Here is her face. And she is also two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen colors. So they're running around seventeen to nineteen colors. Extremely sticky, even though this is a double sided tape. I don't know how I feel about that, but um, lots of color blocking to. You know, hey, I want to do something, but I don't want to be too involved. Um, lots of color blocking. I don't know how that crease that I'm seeing right here is going to play out. I don't know what I'm going to do about this, you know. I mean, I, I'm wondering if I could, yeah, I probably, hmm, I think I kind of squished this down really good. When I saw that it was lifting in one corner, I got my big paddle out and I, you know, I started to run. I have like a, a book creaser, page creaser kind of uh, tool. And then I have my other one. I don't know where that one got to. Everything is all over the place. So that was number three. Uh, here's another canvas. Is she taped also? Is she? Uh, she's not gonna pull back. And this one I'm not really crazy about. I don't know why I got her. I think there were other ones that I liked even more than her, but she's in there. Um, I mean, if you want to work one of these up and give them as a gift, again, clear printing, I think basically the same symbols too you know i'm seeing a lot of hearts and arrows here's that box again that's split in two that one that looks like a spider so they're all probably the same they're probably sharing even the same drills two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen colors in this one less than the other one is she holding something Oh, she's holding. Oh, I know why. I know why I liked her. <laughs> I like her again. I know why I like her. She is holding a bunch of arrows in her hand that are hearts. That's why I liked her. Yeah. I'm in love with you again. Okay. That was number four. And here is the last one. One that I really love. Let's see how many colors. Two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 colors on this one. And I was thinking, there's no ABs in here, of course, but I have so many ABs around that if I wanted to switch a color out and make it a little special, I could. They look kind of scary looking at them like this. Again, lots of color blocking, like just that ease of, oh, I'm getting something done. Um, I love her because she has the koi fish. There's an artist that I came across that was doing, making uh, dolls and making sculptures. And she made this gorgeous doll face with all koi fish. Like, like she was the keeper of the kois. Oh, God, it was stunning. If I still have it, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll make sure to uh, put it up for you. But there she is. Right there, very pretty, all koi fish all around. Oh, she got stuck to my, <laughs> she got stuck to my tripod. What did I say here? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, 
14, 16, 18 colors. Yeah. Again, no name, no nothing. Don't know. I just love, I do love the color palette on all of these. You can get these done. You can group them together. Um, but I would love some other information. Again, I did do a search. I will put up the searches that I did. Um, I mean, if you wanted to give this away, no harm, no foul. Give it away to somebody that would be interested in diamond painting. It's, you know, uh, if I had younger, uh, my niece was younger, I know that she would be sitting right next to me saying, Anna Lisa, what are you doing? You know, and I, I would probably let her help me a little bit on my own designs. But if I wanted to get her something that she can work on her own, I would do that also. So, there we have it. Now, I only went through the opening of one of the packages, and I'm glad that I did because um, there really isn't a lot of difference in the symbols and probably in the colors. So that's my experience so far with AliExpress. The only thing I can do is maybe, oh, was that the one that I opened with the Do I have two of them that have koi fish? Or do I have the right one? That would be really interesting. I don't think I have the right. Oh no, she's the right one with the koi fish. Okay, she's a little bit intricate. And of course I have to open up this one first. I'm not gonna do her first. I don't wanna do anything too intricate. I'll just throw her back in here. Is there anything else in here? Oh yeah, those trays, who needs them? Um, I don't know. I mean, I do like, I do like these, I like things in like little baby snacks. I'm always saying to my husband, I just want a baby snack or I just want like a baby, you know, French fries or a baby Coke. <laughs> so I do like that these are small and I have packages from so many companies that, you know, I can always throw them in there. But I do have Rico waiting in the background. He's, he's kitted up and I wanted to go through the colors with you guys. So I was hoping to do that yesterday, but my CAT scan just knocked the bejesus out of me. I was so tired. I went to bed at three o'clock in the afternoon. I didn't wake up until this morning and I still feel nauseous. Anyway, AliExpress. I mean, I think my entire order, I know that this added up to maybe 25 bucks. I don't know, 30, $40 free shipping. I'll try my little diamond pen with my uh, little uh, diamond painting that I want to start with. I really want to start with the girl with the rabbit. I also want to start with this koi fish now too, because I think she had the least amount of drills. And I do want to use my little ruler and see how that all works out. And maybe I'll even use their wax too. I won't use my regular wax and maybe I don't know. Maybe I will, you know, use this release paper and cut it out that way. But I don't I don't see me doing that. I'm probably gonna peel this whole thing back. And being that I wanna open up one package and because there's so few in the package, and I wanna, you know, use the whole thing. Um yeah, I don't see myself making little squares on here. But who knows? Maybe on one of them I will. We'll see. Anyway, I hope you're having a fun funky friday is it funky friday yet let me see mm, four o'clock funky friday wxpn some of the best dance music that you can hear here in philly <laughs> again i hope you're having a good day i hope you're somewhere that has sun Ugh, look at it out it's disgusting it's cold Ugh. anyway love you guys and i will see you in the next one bye